Hey everyone, what's up? Um, I've been wanting to do a video about this, but it's Pride Month, and as you guys are seeing, there's a lot of <laughs> strange coincidences happening. It's no coincidence to me that there's smoke <laughs> enveloping New York City and Washington, D.C. and other places, but uh, it's no coincidence to me, and I'm not shocked in the least that that's happening to those types of cities. Um, you know, uh, we see the perversion that's being pushed during this month. Uh, there's nothing to be prideful about if we're pride and be boastful in anything. That's only Jesus Christ, guys. And I'm just being straight up with you dudes, uh, all you people, uh, male, female, whoever you are, transgender, whatever else, guys. Um, you know, all this is is just rebellion. It's just a mockery, and it's just um, it, it's just perversion. That's pretty much it. We know that the enemy is an author of confusion. Um, this is what they do. They like chaos. We see what's going on, what they're doing to school systems, even the Department of Justice, how they're using them uh, in a corrupt manner. Uh, they're targeting people who are praying in front of abortion clinics and things like that. And these people are being deemed um, domestic terrorists. And it's just insane today, guys. Evil has been good, has become good. And good is now evil, according to, you know, this current agenda that this country is leading the world and pushing. Uh, we see how this stuff is destructive uh, to the businesses that push this stuff. It's no coincidence. Again, uh, we did a video on Jeremiah back in the day. Our Lord, our, soul, our Lord himself tells you that this stuff's not profitable. They had goddess worship as well. Uh, Israel was infiltrated by the same evil uh, child sacrifice, if you want to call it abortion. It's the same deal, in my opinion. Um, perversion, uh, you read up on priests who, um, temple priests that worship Astoreth, they dressed as women uh, in Phoenicia, which is in the land of Canaan. You understand it for you guys who uh, would want to do any history from the secular world uh, explanation. But um, this stuff is not new, guys. As we're told in Ecclesiastes, there's nothing new under the sun. Transhumanism, none of this stuff is new. Uh, I'm even seeing we're on the news. They're trying to even push that there's aliens and alien sightings and crap. Uh, they're even going that far, guys. Uh, Chinese spy balloon, oh, it's a UFO. But uh, just recently, they're making a big deal. Um, and I saw it on regular news, so it's not conspiracy stuff, but they're even trying to get people to believe that there's aliens out there. And I'm gonna be the one that's gonna be called crazy when I make this video. But again, this stuff is like on your evening news, like it's just like a car accident that, you know, was caused on the freeway. You know, they're reporting this stuff. It's all misdirection again. It's just confusion at best. But uh, Pride Month, again, uh, once again, it's just mockery. The God knows what he's doing. To say otherwise is a joke, you understand? Uh, if we're gonna use the word gender, there are only two genders. God knows exactly what he's doing. All these people that are born today walking this earth, we all know how you got here. You know, maybe there are some cases where some of you grew up in test tubes or were cloned. Again, who knows in today's world and society, but the fact of the matter is that man will never be God. It's just not gonna happen, guys. I'm sorry, I don't care which kind of nonsense they tell you they're able to do, put chips in people's heads, uh, artificial intelligence, man will never be God and God is still in control. Like I was talking about these companies that push this stuff, Anheuser-Busch, we all see what's happening to them. Target, we see what's happening to them. Disney destroying franchises such as Star Wars and Marvel, which I was never a fan of, but regardless, this stuff is losing these companies tons of money. You understand? Stuff that used to be basically a printing, a money printing press. You understand? A reason to print money, they're losing money, guys. And it's no coincidence. Again, um, this stuff, even if you're not a believer, uh, you have to be raising your eyebrow at this type of stuff and what they're forcing down everyone's throat. Uh, Department of Education, we told you in the past, uh, the children are the true targets. They're the ones that they're truly trying to indoctrinate with this perversion uh, when they have these drag queen um, by, or story reading times and crap like that. You know, they have these people dancing around, acting like they're happy, and they're trying to make the kids think that's what's going to happen if they go through with this stuff. It's Life is just a big party and everything else, when in reality, we all know that mental illness is very prevalent and those people, I mean, if you're having something as a symptom of gender dysphoria, you understand uh, there has to be something wrong with you mentally. 
me personally, we know that this is spiritual. This is a spiritual principality and it's nothing new that has not been seen before. It's affected Rome. It's affected Israel as well. It's affected many places. Sodom and Gomorrah, you understand. Uh, they're still fi uh, finding uh, sulfur uh, bowls over where Sodom and Gom Gomorrah was. You can still light them up with the lighter, guys. This is real stuff. Uh, again, um, when I'm looking at the Satan con crap, you know, again, this is on evening news, guys. I don't go on conspiracy theory websites. You guys can easily Google search this stuff. But uh, as our Lord tells us, he says, know that if they hated you, that they hated me first. And I'm just going to tell you, Satan con or whatever else, these people do not mock Islam. They do not mock Buddhism. They don't mock any of that. They only seem to have an issue with Jesus Christ, our Lord. You know, they don't rip up the Quran. They don't rip up whatever book uh, Buddhists read. I don't know what book they have. Uh, again, you don't see other religions get attacked like Christianity. They're not calling Muslims domestic terrorism. Terrorists, you understand? They're not calling Buddhists this type of stuff. They're strictly targeting Christians. Um, other parts of the world, in China, for example, they're definitely persecuted and targeted. Uh, there's a big revival in places, uh, I believe, like Iran and Afghanistan and stuff. Uh, they're killing Christians over there. So here in America, you know, to me, I don't treat nothing as coincidence. But we do not honor, we do not glorify, we do not support. Um, <laughs> we do not praise this month for the reasons that... You know, our government and everyone else wants to rate or praise this month for. That's a joke. Uh, again, the only pride we're going to celebrate during this month is in our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he is the first and he is the last. And besides him, there are no others like he told us in Isaiah, guys. Uh, these people, they are already been given the test, the 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 answers to the test. Uh, we all know what's going to happen. Again, man can create AI. He can create lightsabers. I don't care. He can create spaceships and try to act like they're aliens or whatever else that they're trying to push today. <coughs> whatever you create, it's never, it's not going to be nothing to the Lord. So I'm telling you that right now. Uh, Jesus Christ does not play around. When he does come back, uh, it's going to be over, guys. Uh, I'm telling you that right now. I don't know what these people are thinking. Uh, you know, again, we told you how the enemy is nothing but author confusion. Uh, you know, uh, marriage between a man and woman, it honors our God, our Lord, with his relationship with the bride, which is his church. Um, you know, this is, again, just rebellion and mockery. They're just trying to mock the world or mock the Lord. And plenty of people are falling victim to this and being influenced by this nonsense, regardless of what we're seeing. These companies that we listed prior, all this money they're losing, uh, our kids are having the highest levels of mental illness than ever before. Um, also, our test scores are the lowest they've ever been uh, in this country, you know. And that's due to the fact that they're pushing things such as DEI, which is diversity, equity, and inclusion. You can't just teach kids math, science, biology, because again, that goes against this perversion that you're trying to push. Uh, we know that there's other sinister reasons behind this as well. Um, you know, these people, I don't understand why they're doing it. But again, uh, you have to be uh, under some kind of demonic influence if you believe that a man can have a woman and you can't or a man can become pregnant and you can't define what a woman is. This is another thing that they're trying to destroy. This is why they're not teaching this youth math, science, biology, normal things that used to be common sense decades prior other to, the, to these crazy times. But um, they're really against truth, you understand, and common sense and reason and things like that. Um, you know, if you contend with this theology that they're trying to push you know if you say that only a woman can have a baby you're a domestic terrorist you know we're pretty much close to that time where they're going to these extreme measures today and it's a joke they're taking away people's freedoms off of idiotic ideology again uh that just is so asinine it's not even funny um you know again these are principalities these are not and a battle of flesh, you understand, it's not carnal, it's spiritual, guys. And it's nothing new that this world has not seen before. Uh, I know that the restrainer is still in place, as is mentioned in uh, Thessalonians. 
Uh, again, these companies are being affected. You're seeing parents fight back against this perverted stuff. With that said, I do want to read some scripture. This is from Psalm 139. Um, and it tells us how our, how our Lord views us. You know, these people, they just feel so threatened by Jesus Christ and uh, the Bible and everything else. But, um, you know, don't follow the world's theology. Don't follow what the world tells you you are. The world's confused and the world does not know what it's doing. Um, but here we'll start at verse 14, Psalm uh, 139. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance yet being unperfect and in thy book of all members were written which in continuance were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God, how great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou will slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, you bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am I not greed with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred, I count them my enemy search me O god and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if they be wicked be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting uh, even david humbled himself and knows search me you know judge me and lead me to the way everlasting uh, and this is the approach we should be having in this country we should not be sitting here uh, chemically castrating kids uh, uh, brainwashing them and whatever we're doing guys uh, it's just going to lead to a very bleak future and we're not going to like what's to come. Uh, history always repeats itself. And as we said earlier, there's nothing new under the sun. If we continue to do um, the direction, going in the direction that we're going right now as a country, again, this destructive theology has even affected uh, our role as a preeminent world power. You understand this stuff is in our foreign policy. Um, we're sanctioning countries because they're against this movement, uh, which is ridiculous. And these countries, of course, are fleeing to other sources, um, you know, for uh, assisting their countries. Uh, but regardless, um, this stuff has been written in the Bible and it's going to play out the same way as it's always played out. Uh, again, nothing new under the sun. But here, Jeremiah, I believe, 51 verses 6 through 10 uh, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance he will render into her a recompense Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed how for her take balm for her pain so be she may be healed we would have built healed Babylon but she is not healed for her judgment reaches into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. In Jesus' name, amen, guys. I pray for this country. Uh, I pray that God has mercy on us all, guys, because that's all we can ask for. Um, our Lord Jesus was, uh, when he died on that cross, was a propitiation for our sins. He became the curse that was meant for us. He took on the wrath that was meant for us. It is a free gift, guys. It is a free gift. Uh, as it is written, all nations will bow the knee and confess with their tongues that Jesus Christ is Lord, guys. Uh, that is going to happen. Um, again, you want to continue to see uh, how far this destruction can affect uh, this world as a whole. I mean, they can continue to do this, but I think we should stop now, guys. That's just my opinion. <laughs> You know, I understand there's people that don't believe in this stuff, but um, I just suggest that you guys start getting into the word, uh, start looking up the Hebrew and Greek uh, words. You know, uh, there are plenty of sources for you to do that. It gives you better meaning and understanding what is being spoke about when you read in the Bible. Um, and it takes practice. It's like working out a muscle. You're going to have to read it. And like I said, research and things like that. But God bless you all, guys. And again, Lord, have mercy on us all, because we are all sinners. There was only one on this earth that was perfect. Um, and again, he's the one that paid our debt. It literally is a free gift, guys. Accept the Lord uh, Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know, he is the only one that can heal this. There is no secular solution uh, for the destruction and stuff that's going on in this country. Only God can save us. He is our Savior. He is the only Savior. Um, 
he's our only healer and of course he is the victor so that's all i gotta say for now we'll talk to you guys later bye